Hey, B, I've got pretty exciting news to tell you. Try and guess what it is. Ah, uh, you know I suck at guessing games. Can't you just tell me what it is? Nah, come on. Just try guessing at least once. It'll be fun. All right, all right. Okay, so did you finally get that new wig you've been contemplating ordering for a while now? Because if so, I definitely want to take it out for a spin to see if I want to get one as well. I just wasn't sure about the length of the hair and whether I wanted my hair to look that long. I mean, do you think it would suit me? I've always had shorter hair, like to my shoulders, so I didn't know if longer hair would look good on me or not. B! Oh, right, sorry. So, was I right? No, not in the slightest. Although, I could get it for this occasion. It might look really nice with my dress. Ah, so there's a dress involved. Well, you can't have a wedding without a wedding dress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You're getting married? That's amazing. Who are you marrying? Who? Well, it's Troy, of course. I have been dating him for the last, like, nine months. Honestly, B, where have you been? Troy, but I thought you two had broken up a while ago. You said that you weren't seeing him anymore because you got into a huge argument. Oh, that? Yeah, I mean, we did go on a little break for like a couple of weeks, but we eventually resolved it all and got back together. We've been incredibly happy ever since. In fact, he recreated the very first date we went on and then proposed to me at the end of it. It was so incredibly sweet. I mean, I had no clue that he was going to propose, so it came as a huge surprise. But of course I said yes. Despite our difficulties, we love each other so much, we'll be able to overcome anything that life throws at us. We're not going to argue over stupid things, and if we do fall out, going to talk it through together. I mean, after all, he's funny, sophisticated, smart, and extremely handsome. He's everything I ever want in a man and a husband. So why wouldn't I give this marriage a go? Wow. Sounds like you've hit the jackpot. I know, right? Troy is so sweet to me. You've met him, so you know what he's like. He'll do anything to make people laugh and have a good time. It's what drew me to him in the first place. His ability to just have fun and involve everyone around him in that fun. Yeah, I guess. So we're thinking that we want the wedding sooner rather than later. So we're looking at a winter date and we'll need to get the guest numbers in as soon as possible so we know how big of a venue we need to hire. So, are you going to be bringing anyone? You know, like a date? Uh, well, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, have you got a secret boyfriend you're not telling me about? What? No, of course not. I've just kind of been seeing this guy for a few months now. Well, why don't you tell me about him? I'd have loved to meet him. It's about time you find someone again. Derek was a jerk, but I'm glad you're getting back out there and finding new people to have fun with and potentially find that forever relationship. Yeah, it is nice to have someone to call my own again. We were keeping our relationship kind of hush-hush as we didn't want to jinx anything and we wanted to get to know each other before telling others we were together. But I might see if he can come to the wedding. Okay, that sounds great. Just let me know closer to the time what's happening. I'll make sure to earmark you for a plus one though, just in case. Okay, thanks Ray. No problem. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got a few more people who I need to tell, but I wanted to break the news to you first, cause you're my big sister and I share everything with you. Love you, talk to you soon. Yeah, talk soon. Bianca, we need to talk, like, right now. Ray, what's wrong? Why are you so angry? Has something happened with the wedding? Oh, don't act as if you don't know. When were you going to tell me that your so-called mystery man is my fiancé? Oh, so you found out about that then, huh? This is a joke, right? Tell me this is a joke. You've not actually been sneaking around with my fiancé behind my back, have you? Why would I joke about this? Me and Troy are properly in love. But how has this even happened? Argument with Troy and you two split up? Yeah. 
Well, he came to me to complain about it all and told me how horrible you were to him. Everything you'd said to him and every name you'd called him. And he didn't just stop at the argument. Troy told me every single little detail about your relationship and how he was glad to finally be rid of you. After hearing how badly you treated him, I decided that he needed someone who knew how to be kind and how to be a proper girlfriend to him. So, he and I started dating. It was going really great as well until you two got back together. I can't understand why he would do that to me, as I know that I'm his one true love. It's just a shame that you found out about us before the wedding. I had something super special planned for the big day. It would have been amazing. I can't actually believe you right now. You're supposed to be my big sister. You're supposed to love and support me and root for me in life. Not try and steal my fiance from me for yourself safe from me for yourself you've always been jealous of me and i've not even done anything to deserve it why do you always have to try and ruin any good thing that comes my way i mean trying to stop me from marrying the man i love that's just horrible what kind of sister does that whatever it's your fault anyway you're the one who's driven your fiance away that doesn't mean that you get to start a relationship with him Huh? Even if Troy and I had never gotten back together, I was in a very serious relationship with him for a very long time. A good sister would recognize this and would never, and I mean never, decide to date him instead. Did you even think of how that would make me feel? How it would completely break my heart that the two people I love the most betrayed me in the worst way possible? Well, it doesn't matter, does it? If he doesn't want you, then why shouldn't I be able to be with him instead? You know what they say, love- And you know no loyalty or morality. Who needs that when you've got the love of your life, huh? I really can't believe you. I'm literally in shock. To think that my own sister would betray me in such a horrible way. Yeah, whatever. You can go and cry somewhere else, okay? And considering the fact that you're obviously not going to want it anymore, I figured that me and Troy could just use the wedding you planned for ourselves. It's just going to go to waste anyway, seeing as you and him aren't getting married anymore. So I can just have it, can't I? But I just... I just can't understand how this has happened. Why would he do something like this? I thought he loved me. Well, obviously he doesn't. Anyway, it's no secret that I'm better than you in pretty much every way. I mean... As the older sister, I clearly got the better half of all of the genes, whilst you got the dregs. So it only makes sense that I should get the best things in life. In life. I know that you're used to having everyone doing everything for you, like mom and dad, simply because you're younger. But it's about time you learn that life isn't always going to go your way. You don't get to just click your fingers and get whatever you want. So that's what this is about. You're just jealous of me in general, simply because I'm your sister? Let me guess, you never wanted another sibling, did you? You'd rather have been an only child so that you could have everyone's attention whenever you wanted it. The fact that I came along must have really annoyed you then. Mom and dad's attention had to be shared and you hate the fact that you weren't the only apple of their eye anymore. But to go to such a length, stealing my fiance for yourself and try and get back at me, it's just incredibly pathetic. And to think I called you my sister. Whatever. I should be the one who everyone pays attention to. I'm so much better than you. I'm prettier, smarter, and so much more in every way. You're just all boring nobody. So it's no wonder why Troy loves me and wants to be with me. Except he asked me to marry him, didn't he? He had every chance to ask you, but he didn't. Don't you think that says anything about how he feels about you? What? No, he loves me. I don't know why he asked you to marry him, though I suspect it was so he could then divorce you and take all of your money so that me and him can build a life together. Do you honestly believe that? It's the only explanation. So are you going to have the wedding or not? Because if not, then I want it so that me and Troy can finally confess our love for one another in front of everyone. Oh no, I'm definitely not going to get married to that lying scumbag. He's all yours. But if you want the wedding, 
You're going to have to pay me back every dollar that I've spent on it. What? Why? I'm not paying for my sister and my fiance to get married at my dream wedding. Married at my dream wedding. If you want the occasion, then you're going to have to pay for it. Fine. How much was it? Overall, it was ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand? I can't pay that. No way. Well then, I guess you and Troy aren't getting married then. Ah, wait. Fine. I'll pay it, but it'll have to be in installments, and I can't pay the first one until I get my next wage, which is at the end of this month. So you'll just have to wait. God, you're such a horrible sister. A nice sister would just give me her wedding. You're not going to use it. I don't care. With how you and Troy have treated me, I'm going to get whatever compensation I can. Weddings are expensive, so I'm out a lot of money. Well, like I said, you'll just have to wait for it. Uh huh. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me for getting engaged? You're such a poor loser. Oh well, I'm sure there are other people who will be happy to congratulate me. Oh. And I think it goes without saying that you need to stay away from Troy now. He's mine. I don't want you anywhere near him. Oh, and you don't need to worry about that. I want nothing to do with that loser anymore. Great. Well, see ya. Hey, Ree, is everything okay? We haven't spoken in a while, and the wedding is tomorrow. You're not getting cold feet, are you? <laughs> oh, Troy, it's you. Um. Is everything okay? No, not really. Well, what's wrong? Well, why don't you ask Bianca? She knows what's wrong. Although you probably have quite a good idea as well. Now that I think about it. Bianca, what are you? Finally remembered. Have you? Well, look, it was all a huge mistake. I was upset and angry when we had that huge argument. I was just looking for a little bit of comfort. With my sister. I'm so sorry. It meant nothing. I promise. Well, you might want to tell her that because she thinks that she's marrying you tomorrow. What? Yeah. Well, she thinks that you love her and that you actually want to be with her instead of me. But <laughs> that's not true. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care what you do anymore. I'm not marrying you, and I'm not going to be with you at all. What? Why? Seriously? You went behind my back with my sister. I don't want to be with someone who would betray me like that. I deserve so much better than that. But the wedding is tomorrow. Well, a wedding is tomorrow. It's just not ours. Please, Ria, take me back. There's just no way that I can trust you anymore. I'm sorry, Troy, but that's the truth. I, I, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. Goodbye, Troy. Rhea, what have you done? What's going on? Where's all the wedding guests? I mean, my wedding guests. There's just a bunch of strangers here, and the venue isn't letting me into the building. Also, I haven't seen Troy anywhere. What's going on? Oh, Bianca. Yes, about that. I talked to Troy last night, and whilst he didn't deny that he did date you for a while, he never actually wanted to marry you. After I told him that we were through. He decided to go traveling to try and clear his head. As for the people at the venue, it's a wedding. What do you mean? Well, with the wedding called off on such short notice, there was no way that I was getting my deposits back on anything. So I decided to advertise the wedding online to see if there was anyone who wanted it. That's when Molly and Damien contacted me, telling me that their venue had pulled out on them at the last minute and that they would be so grateful for the wedding. So of course I gave it to them. I mean, everything was paid for, so it might as well be used. Ugh! Why would you do that to me? You knew I wanted to marry Troy, but you scared him off and gave the wedding away. You really need to get over it. Troy didn't want to marry you, so you need to stop thinking that he is your boyfriend. But and as for us, we're no longer sisters. What do you mean by that? I don't want a sister who is so jealous of me that she will try to sabotage every good thing in my life. I don't trust you anymore, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. I hope you have a good life, but I won't be involved in it anymore. Hang on, Rhea. You can't just do that. Actually, yeah, I can. Goodbye, Bianca. Even though it hurt me to cut my sister from my life, I knew it was the best thing to do, as I could no longer trust her. 
After the whole ordeal was over, I decided to do a bit of traveling myself. I needed to clear my head after the betrayal by the two people I trusted the most. I'm slowly coming to terms with everything, but for now, I'm going to focus on myself and make sure that my life is how I want it to be. Who knows? I might even be able to make it down the aisle next time. <laughs>